What's up, YouTube? PP Dangle here. I got another unboxing review. Uh, this is going to kind of follow along uh, the last video I did with my record player. These are the speakers for it. Uh, I got them off Amazon, $100. The Edifier R1280Ts, powered speakers. Um, this is the box I got them today. They're best sellers on Amazon, nothing but great reviews. Um, you know, I wanted to get these for my record player, like I said, uh, because they're powered. I don't need an amp or a receiver or none of that. They got a nice, sleek, clean look to them. Uh, they're best sellers on Amazon. I mean, check out the reviews. They really speak for themselves. Um, you got some features here. 42-watt uh, RMS. Got two sets of inputs. Um, they, they're powered. 4-inch uh, subwoofer. 13mm silk dome tweeter. Um, it looks like it comes with a little remote here, so uh, let's not look at the box anymore. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got. This is the box that it actually shipped in, so be aware, if you get them from Amazon, they might just ship them in the actual speaker box. So, somebody might want to snatch these real quick. Uh, there's the speakers, they're 9.2 inches tall, 5.7 inches wide, 7.5 inches deep. Now one is a passive speaker, one is an active speaker. So one gets plugged in, and then the other one plugs into it. So you don't need two outlets for two speakers, because only one of them, I guess technically, um, you know, needs to be plugged in. Here's your warranty basic all right these are a little bit bigger than i expected ah, nice packaging though wow these are solid weight too get these out of the box and then we'll take a look at them ah, here's some cords and manual so manual we really don't read them uh, lots of different cords though We'll check that out. It's got speaker cord here. Looks like heavy duty quality speaker cord. So you run them to each other. And, uh, there's your remote. It's got mute, volume up, and volume down. That's it. So pretty basic. It's probably all you need. Uh, looks like if you want to run them to a computer, there's your three and a half millimeter jack or RCAs. Alright, so let's take a look at the one with the good stuff in it here first. Alright, this is your powered speaker. This is the one that's going to be plugging into the wall. Love that new smell. Alright. I don't want to damage that. Alright, oh, very nice. Hope that's coming through. Nice wood grain. That's why I wanted that retro look with the wood grain. On this side here, got your volume knob. You can control the bass and treble individually. It's got that retro look on the side with the wood grain and the top, the gray, a little bit more modern. There's the front. Edifier. Simple. Classic. Let's pop this off here, this grill. Because I'm probably going to be using them without the grill because they look awesome. Got a little porthole there. There's your infrared sensor for your remote, tweeter, and woofer. Very nice. Wow. Here's the back of it. This is where you're going to run your speaker cable to the other speaker because it's not powered. On off switch, power cable. And uh, here's where you put in your inputs, you know, from your, uh, your PC or, uh, you know, whatever else you're plugging it into. Any type of receiver, um, CD player. I'm going to plug it into my turntable, my record player. That's what I got these for. So I'm going to unbox this other one here quick. These are packaged very nice. I like to see that. I hate when you get something and it's just in a box or, you know, wrapped up with bubble wrap or something. I don't know. These, uh, they took some time. It is again. Now this one's got nothing on the back, just your, uh, it's where you plug in the speaker. They do got rubber mounts on the bottom, so that's nice to, for vibrations. Um, you know, same type of thing. 
the grill comes off. Take it off here because that's uh, how I'm going to rock them. There they are, bookshelves. Um, nine inches tall, nine and a half, I think I said. Very nice. I'm going to take these, uh, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to take these upstairs and hook them up to my record player and see if I can maybe play something quick. Um, you're not obviously going to get an idea of the sound quality because you're probably listening it to either this, watching this either on your cell phone or your own crappy speakers on your PC. But uh, I want to hear them and I will experience it with you. So uh, stand by and I'll get these hooked up. Sure. Sure. Alright guys, so here we are. I got the speakers hooked up. Um, they look nice. This is just on my dresser right now until I get something a little bit more permanent. Um, they sound good. They look good. Uh, I haven't played too much through it here. I just had what I had on here. This was a, an old Cheech and Chong record. Um, big Bamboo. So Here are the speakers. Uh, they sound good. They were easy to hook up. Uh, I powered that one up, ran the line over there, plugged in the aux cord, and that was it. Uh, the remote works. Mute. That's mute. Um, you know, it doesn't mute whatever media you're playing. Uh, keep in mind, the record table will still spin and play, just nothing comes out until you unmute it. Um, so I think that's going to be it for the review. Uh, I like them. They look nice. I'm going to keep them with the grills off. Um, I'm going to place, this is what I'm going to use for my setup right now. So this is my record setup. I got the Audio Technica LP60. Um, and that's running straight with the preamp right into the powered speakers, which were $100. So $100 for that and $80 for the record player. So I'm in under $200. Um, and pretty happy about it. I'm going to start collecting, getting some more records. I'll keep you guys updated on posts here on, um, you know, stuff that I find. Um, <clears throat> made up some record stores around here uh, and uh, a record fair or two maybe yeah, like keep an eye on craigslist and stuff that's pretty much it uh, i just wanted to show you guys uh my new setup so here it is if you have any questions or comments though let me know um like i said i'm pretty new to this but i'm open to take advice or criticism and if you um if you like the stuff yeah subscribe to my channel you know that that helps i'll keep making videos as long as you keep subscribing liking um and leaving comments so uh that's it guys uh take care and i'll see you next time later Looking up.